Hi guys, this is Olga, and I wanted to show you a project that I created. Um, I wanted to say first, um, the majority of the dyes that are actually all the dyes that were used to alter this cigar box are from Diamond Dyes, and I'll have their link down below. I'm also going to have a coupon code that you could use at the store. It's 10% off plus free shipping if you purchase $35 or more. And I got this question asked to me from a couple of my subscribers. Um, can I use the coupon code on sale items? Yes, you can. Now, almost all the dyes at the site, at the store right now, are on sale. And yes, you can use your 10% off plus free shipping as long as you purchase $35 or more. And um, also, I wanted to let you guys know, in case you don't know, um, Diamond Dyes has a YouTube channel, a Facebook page. They also have a monthly giveaway that they host. And basically what it is is that you create a project using one of the dyes from Diamond Dyes. And you can create as many projects as you like. For each project, you get an entry. And um, you either do a video response, you send it to Diamond Dyes, or you take a picture and you email it to Diamond Dyes. Now, the link to the YouTube is going to be down below in the description, so you can go head over and um, check out the video that they posted about this monthly giveaway. It starts at the beginning of the month, and it ends at the end of the month. And um, the winner will get a gift card to the store, and you can purchase what you like. Now, the video is labeled, uh, Make It With Diamond Dyes. Now, if you want to get some ideas and some inspiration, if you go to their Facebook page, you'll get to see what the other participant has created using the dyes. And I got to tell you, I get blown away. I have seen some beautiful, beautiful projects um, on their YouTube. And so, um, yeah, so if you want, and also keep tuning in to their Facebook and their YouTube because... They have like different things going on, either like new releases or they have like hops or they have giveaways or they have challenges. And you know, they usually just post it on their YouTube. They make a video on YouTube, but if they don't, you will see it up on their Facebook page. Also, you get to see some projects that the other DT members have created and get some inspiration um, through that. And um, I also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna. Um, Tell you something that I was thinking about doing and I wanted to see who wants to participate in and um but yeah so let me show you really quick the dyes that I used to create um to alter this project um one of the dyes that I used was the realistic rose and it's a set of two makes some beautiful flowers and beautiful roses and it comes with the large and the small well I say the large and the medium and I'll tell you why and then I also use the must-haves that looks like so. And the reason that I call it the large and the medium because I say this one is the small. And here you got the butterfly and you have the leaf, you have the two flowers and you have the bird with the wing. And this is the must-have. Love this dye. I also use the fall leaves and they go so good with the flowers. I love it. And then another dye that I use was the scallop circle. The Nestability Scallop Circle, and it looks like so. I'm sorry, the Scallops Circle is this one right here. I hope you hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I use this one now. This is a set of 10, and then the Circle one, which I didn't use it, but I wanted to show you because I usually go it goes hand in hand with the Scallop. The Circle one comes with 10, and it's from half an inch to five and a half. Um, so yeah, and this one comes with 20 pieces, okay, guys, and so. The um, paper that I use is from DCW, and it was some scraps that I had, and, um, oh, and I'm sorry, guys, I also used the Monarch Butterfly, and the Monarch Butterfly is like so. They got the small one, and they got the large one. This one is the small one, and I should have cleaned it out, but anyway, so this is the small one, and it comes with the bottom and then the top, and then here is the large one. Very, very beautiful butterflies. And now these dyes cut through lightweight chipboard, like the one you get from Joann's. I have no problem, um, you know, getting any cuts from that. Okay, so you can. I use a lot of cereal boxes, pizza boxes, and so on. But yeah, so what I did was, after like I took the whole box, I was going to gesso. I did try to gesso all the corners, but I didn't like um, the way it was looking, and I'd rather use like the... Um, the tape and this is like duct tape I want to say 
Oh, you know that big long white tape. So what I did was I um I did all the edges and then I took my mosh paws and I um covered the whole um cigar box and I took these wooden feet and these wooden feet I just painted them with some like um like a greenish um it's like a greenish beige paint. And then I use some gesso, and I like the feet because it makes the box stand up higher. And now these, this beautiful lace right here I got from Gisela, love the lace. And this crochet lace right here I got at Joann's, okay? And then what I did was I took my scriptures um, stencil, and I used some of this shimmer paste, texture paste from Shimmer. Um, and it's like a nice blue, and I'll show you the text. I love it. And this was actually the first time of me using it, but look at that, guys. And it's so, so nice. And um, so I used that with my stencil. And I just, um, I did the whole cut, the whole top of the box. And then after I did that, I came in, I punched out my, my Monarch butterflies. But if you notice, my Monarch butterfly, I actually cut them out from um, a box. Um, and what I did was I peeled the cardboard box. I peeled it because I only wanted like the inside because I wanted that those little curves to show. And then after I did that, I came and I used some of this luminol that um, I got a while back. And it comes like so. It's like a paste kind of like I want to say like a hard. And it comes like this. And I used I took oh sorry I took some a little bit of water and a paintbrush, and I just started coating the butterfly until I got the the look that I was going for. And in this one right here, I used the bottom. And in this one, I used both layers of the butterfly. And if you see the shimmer, I don't know if you guys could get that in the camera, but I love it. And then after I did that, I started creating my flowers. And this flower right here, I used the, um, the realistic rose. And then in the middle, I used the must-have rose. And then over here... Here is the realistic rose and the must-haves. And so I like it because I can make different sizes of flowers and roses and stuff. So I like that. And then I just um, glue the butterfly. I got some beautiful lace right here from Gisela tucked in the back. And then um, I got some of the fall leaves that I distressed with some um, vintage photo. And over here as well, I used some vintage photo. I also used the fishtail banner from Diamond Dyes. And it's right here. I just curled them up. And then I used this beautiful crochet lace and some cheesecloth. And then I took some scrap of these, um, it looks like a letter that I had. And I just um, teared it and then just um, used some vintage photo, used a little bit of gesso. And then I crunched it up. And then I just took a uh, half here and then another half up here. And then I got these beautiful roses, flowers right here from um, Wild Orchid Craft. And so I just cut them in half and I used half here. And then I used the uh, baby blue over here. And this beautiful wood piece right here I got from Michaels. And it was like a dollar. And for this one, after I painted it with the same paint that I used for the butterfly, um, I used uh, Luminon. It's called um, Heavily White. And I love that. It's like a nice silver. Did the same thing. Used the paintbrush and a little bit of water. And I just love the little shimmer that it, it gave the wood piece. I love that. And then I used some tool. And then here, I used the scallop circle. And what I did was I popped it up with some cardstock. I mean, I'm sorry, with some cardboard. And um, so just because I wanted it to rise a little bit. And then in the inside, very, very simple. In the inside, what I did was I just created a pocket. And I hope you guys can see that. I created this pocket with this crochet lace. And then I made some photo mats from the circle die and also the scallop die. And what I like is that you can range whatever size you like. And so I just left them so either you could um, journal on them or place some photos. And then you just tuck them into that pocket like so. And then the inside just covered it up using the same paper. And um, very easy um, to alter. I love doing these cigar boxes. And um, like I said, I'll have all the links to Diamond Dyes. I also have the coupon code. But what I wanted to share with you guys is that I was thinking about hosting a swap. And the swap was going to be a one-on-one -on -one swap. And I wanted to um, have us alter a cigar box. And um, either cigar box, any, any box. Um, but of course, it'll be the same size for everyone. Um, and you could also create a box as well 
too. But I was thinking about doing a one-on-one -on -one swap. And then in the inside, you were going to have choices of what you should place inside. Either three flowers, three handmade cards, or um, whatever. I'm just thinking about ideas, and I just wanted to... Um, see how many people will participate and how many people will want to join and so if you're interested please pm me and let me know that you're interested and you would like to um be a part of this one-on-one -on -one cigar swap and um and then we'll take it from there all right guys again guys don't forget to go check out diamond dies okay guys i'm gonna put their youtube channel and their facebook page bye everyone